I'd completely forgotten about this film. I sat down to watch the 1946 film Shock because, well, partly because I love Vincent Price, but also because it sounded really interesting. And then I started watching it and it came flooding back to me. And I must have seen this film about 10 years ago. I believe I watched it in my first year of university, um, which is 12 years ago now. And I loved it then. And I don't know how I'd forgotten about it, but as soon as I started watching it again, I knew I'd love it the second time, and I really did. So, as I said, released 1946, directed by Alfred L. Worker, written by Eugene Ling, uh, with a story and additional dialogue by Albert DeMond and Martin Berkeley. And we have Vincent Price playing Dr. Cross, Dr. Richard Cross, and Lynn Barry as Nurse Elaine Jordan. We also have Annabelle Shaw as Janet Stewart and her performance in particular I thought was very convincing as a patient, patient with psychological trouble. I'll read the description from IMDb because this is what kind of initially drew me to watching it when I was looking for a Vincent Price film to watch that I hadn't seen or thought I hadn't seen. And the description is, a psychologically distraught woman is committed to a private sanitarium by the man she witnessed committing a murder. And that is basically an accurate description. She's very frail. She's got a very nervous disposition. She's waiting for her husband, um, Lieutenant Paul Stewart, to come home. She can't sleep because she's very nervous about being on her own and waiting for him to arrive safely. And because she's up late at night, she looks out of the window and sees her neighbour, who happens to be Dr. Richard Cross, murdering his wife. And of course, this sends her already nervous disposition Um into a complete mental breakdown and because he is appropriately a doctor he is able to kind of have her committed and take over her care but of course he knows that she knows so while he's theoretically caring for her he's actually doing everything he can to convince her that what she thought she saw which as a viewer we know she did see it but he's trying to convince her that what she thought she saw was just a figment of her fragile mind and whether or not he'll get away with it or if anybody will start to believe her is the entire point of the film. I'm not going to say the outcome or what happens, but I love it. As I've mentioned before, I love films that focus on mental health and this definitely does. There are various other patients at this sanitarium that we're introduced to. They're very interesting characters, but ultimately it's about Janet's mental health and whether or not mental health patients should ever be believed. And that's obviously a pretty bold question because everybody should be believed but when somebody has mental health issues and they have a tendency to maybe have an overactive imagination or they don't see things clearly why would you believe them who would you believe somebody who's been sectioned or a doctor and and of course that's not to say he gets away with it or anything he might he might not um i I had a vague recollection of how it ended and my memory was pretty accurate and I have to say I think the development of the narrative throughout is brilliant. Uh, as I said, um, Annabelle Shaw gives a particularly great performance as Janet, but Vincent Price was obviously brilliant as the very brilliant, sleazy, untrustworthy Doctor, uh, Doctor Cross, which is a brilliant name, I have to say. It's very atmospheric. The music and the sound effects are tense <laughs> they're very tense um and i had a lot of fun with this film i really enjoyed it i wouldn't say it's um a scary film maybe i would say it's a thriller but i didn't find it to be um you know creepy or anything or eerie it was just fascinating a really fascinating film that i really thoroughly enjoyed once i remembered watching it before i remember really loving it and i'm glad to have rediscovered it because Shock is definitely worth the watch and absolutely one that I really enjoyed.